In this video, we'll write the name for NO. We have a nitrogen bonded to an oxygen. This is a very important chemical, both industrially and biologically. So it has its own kind of special name. It's called nitric oxide. So the name nitric oxide, that's just one you need to remember. So NO, nitric oxide. Because nitrogen and oxygen, they're both nonmetals, we have a molecular compound. We could also name it using these rules for molecular compounds. So we'd write the name of both elements. And then for the second element, we change the ending to IDE. So this would just become IDE. So at this point, we'd have nitrogen oxide. But we're going to use prefixes now, put them in front of each name here, based on the number of atoms present. So we have one nitrogen and one oxygen. For the first element, we don't put a prefix mono. We could put a prefix di, tri, tetra if we had more than one element. But with just one element, we leave it the way it is. We should, though, capitalize the nitrogen here. For the oxide, we do need to use the prefix mono. So we're going to put mono in front of oxide. But it looks kind of strange to have the two O's here. So let's get rid of one of these O's. So the name for NO is nitrogen monoxide. And note again, we put the mono in front of the second element, but we wouldn't put it in front of the first. But this is maybe a more formal name for nitrogen monoxide. You should, however, remember NO, nitric oxide, more common name. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.